Yes, hi guys, welcome back to our topic of economics. Uh, we are learning economics on this channel. Me, I'm speaking in the name of Ndamba Jerukara, just my, that, that are my names. Uh, now we, we are together with the economics as we have started. And uh, uh, for, I have to, remain, to remind you that uh, I have studied literature, economics and geography. That's why I'm helping you in economics. So today we are going to see what, what are the other basic concepts used in economics. So what are the terms, general terms that are used in economics. So uh, we have seen the meaning of economics, uh, the sum of the scope of economics, and we have seen the importance of economics. And we have seen the branches of economics and uh, now we are on other basic concepts in economics as I have pr promised you that we shall cover all the units that uh, I have mentioned before. So now welcome back to our, our courses, what is welfare and we what are uh, the meaning of welfare. Sometimes the students uh, the students cannot differentiate between different uh, terms that are used in economics but I think that uh, this course is going to help you to differ them. So now we... What is welfare? Huh? Welfare is the provision of minimal level of well-being and social support for all citizens. The level of individual's welfare is indicated by the quantity and the quality of goods and services can access. So, uh, what is welfare? Welfare is a well-being, well-being of citizens. Welfare ni nukuba kuneza kwa batorage, ni mibele kumbinyiza yumumu, kia mga se yum ya batorage, venchi kia mga se unge. So, welfare is the provision of minimal level of well-being and social support for all citizens. So that's why the level of individual's welfare is indicated by the quantity and the quality of goods and services they can access. quantity umufuka we will cyangwa se umuceri ya mubona mu buryo bworoshye bitangoye kabone imyenda yo kwambara those basic needs imyenda yo kwambara ibyo kurya mu buryo butangoye that is well being of of people yeah that's what, what we call welfare now what, what is commodities these are products that are produced or created by use of factors of production People use these commodities to satisfy their desires. Commodities are categorized as either goods or services. Now, commodities nibinu abanu aba produce changse awa kozi binurunaka ba kure shamburyo go kwi komu uh gogu kora kyobita factors production cut factors uh factors production nibjo niboba kora ichobita goods and services many magam commodities are um, commodities combined goods and services hari service baguha hari goods imyenda ibyo kurya bigiye bitandukanye ibyo byose nibyo bigize icyo bita commodities these are products ni product zibaza producing zwe cyangwa se ziga creating one now with the factors production the factors production we shall see them uh, there are land capital labor in entrepreneurship, those are factors of production. Haru utaka, kufitu utaka, hari ufita wakosi, hari 
entrepreneurship kwihangira imirimo ndetse n'ibindi bigiye bitandukanye ibyo byose rero bibifashe hari inyungu bikubyarira hari byo ukora kugera ngo hereza abatoraje those ones are factors are products that created by factors of production so the combination of goods and services are what we call commodities commodities now what are services services are intangible items or things that satisfy non material wants services service service no ni intangible ni kintu bagukorera ariko udashobora gufata mu ntoki zawo services are intangible items or things that satisfy non material wants urugero ushobora kujya mu kuri wenda urugero kuri MTN MTN service center waranyiza ukabasaba a service wenda akavuga ati simukadi yange yapfuye byagenze gutya na gutya no no bakavuga ati simukadi yawe ifite kibazo kigini iki bakagukorera service zawo zo wifuza ari gutari wifata mu muki ko byivuze ngura yijyanye urugero ukushobora kujya gutege modoka urunyenga ni ko tubyita umunyenga ukajya mu modoka uri kuva hano wenda urugero gicumbi ujya kigari kigaru jya muhanga muhanga that's what we call services even though you have paid money but even though you have paid money to do those services so you have paid in order to receive services that's what we call services are intangible items or things that satisfy non material ones so we have forms of services now forms of, of services we have direct services these are services that directly benefit the individual person examples include education medical care and sports and games so direct services in this service bahereza umunye kandi ikaba yamuha satisfaction so your utility for example as they have mentioned we have education medical care and sports and games so indirect services these are services the individual benefits from indirectly or in the commercial such as services facilitate business activities so they include banking insurance that's an example banking insurance advertising transport and communication those examples that the services that the the the, the benefits individual from indirectly or commercially yeah that's what we call indirect services now what are the characteristics of services characteristic of services what are they so characteristic of services they are intangible services yeah they are intangible they are intangible Services can neither be seen, fed, nor touched. That is what services. Service ni kimi udakora. Na wugi kora wugu bagu heresa. Ibi nugusa wuga ibi wifuza. Ariko utagi kora kyo wifuza. Kugirango ubone ichushaka. Ariko utagi kora wakabuta kora. We are different by goods. They are different by goods. So. For example, you may take clothes, you may take potatoes, you may take different things, but services is not touched. Now, uh, provision of services, they require use of services providers such as teachers, doctors, so physical tools such as textbooks or equipment such as communication masks or boosters. Now, they are consumed as they are provided. Services cannot be stored for future use. Services are not going to be able to use services. They are consumed as they are provided. So, number five, number four, I mean, services cannot be transported from one place to another. Only the service providers can move or be transported to other areas or places. Services are not going to be able to use services. Uyiherewa. Chango se uitanz, uitanga. Niwe ushobara kui transportinga. Aka jana makandi gacheru naka. Ariko atari wehu wehu kui hawa. That we call service cannot be transported. Those are characteristics of services. Now, what are goods? What is the meaning of goods? These are tangible items that satisfy human desires. 
for example, food, clothing, vehicles, and furniture. Those are the examples of goods. Goods are tangible items. And services ko ari ni ariko wafata So, uh, but goods are tangible items. Is tangible items for example, food, clothing, vehicles, and furniture. Yeah. So, uh, these are tangible items that satisfy your desire. For example, food, clothing, vehicles, and furniture. There are types of goods. Now, what are the types of goods? You, as a student, if you are many in a group of high, carry out research on types of goods. A. From your research findings, discuss types of goods and make presentations. Now, for each one. Now, B. Discuss the characteristic of the different types of goods identified above. Now, so, uh, number one, among the types of goods, we have free goods. These are goods which are abundant in supply. Free goods. These are free goods. People use these goods without paying for them. Most of these goods are provided free by nature. Examples of such goods include air, water, and land. So, if water and land are free goods, why do people sell land and bottled water? So th those are questions that we can we can mention. Niba amazi tu ya wamera kuunutaka kuberi ki abanu basa urisha utaka nitseba kam urisha ni chupari amaz. So those are questions that you have to ask yourself. Now, economic goods, commercial goods, those are goods which are scarce in supply, they require payment, daily satisfaction. To the consumers, examples include the manufactured goods. Kuvugambo, commercial goods are not necessarily in this zone. We should as it are not any na free goods. Free goods are not necessarily in the we should. Ah, free goods are not necessarily in the tango kubona. I mean, economic goods are not necessarily in the we should. Yeah, characteristic of economic goods: they are relative risk case. They have money value, monetary value. Kuvugambo, economic goods. They are related to scarce. We have mentioned what, what the meaning of scarce. Scarcity. Now, scarce, no problem with the hands, Kokoyo is about They have monetary value. Yeah. Kugira we want to can a quishura. They have opportunity cost, consuming economics, goods, necessities. Those are what we call the characteristics of economic goods. They have opportunity cost. Opportunity, what are the economic, uh, what are the opportunity cost? Opportunity cost, the principles of economics, just the fundamental economic problems of, of, um, of economics. We shall see those scarcity, choice, and opportunity cost. Opportunity cost, what are they? What, what, what is the opportunity cost? You give the soko, Ugasanga, Ichua Shakaka Kira Hinze, Kiri Hesu, Yam Frank, Ufitem Mufokawe, Ichiwagi Sigano, Nukuga Namahitam, whether you will go home or you will buy another things that can replace that, 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 that one that you have needed. Yeah, Kuga Murahitam, Ayamahitam or Kose, Yichi, Urahaha, that's what that we call, we, we call choice. Then, ito wa size umaze guha, ito wa size umaze guha, habite nama faranga ya ufite, that we call, that is what we call opportunity cost. So, consuming economic goods necessitate sacrificing. So, economic goods have opportunity cost. Number four, they yield satisfaction or utility to be to the consumers. Kufuga umu consumer, jangwa si wego ugura. Niba ukibuze, then uragi consuming, jamu suragi koresha. That is what we call satisfaction. Uwagwani chushaka. Yeah. Number five, they are marketable. Wabijana kuisoko. Yeah. Economic groups ni 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 iso kuisoko. Yeah. Kubeko baba shaki nyungu. Public goods. What are the public goods? These are goods that are owned and enjoyed collectively. Examples include public clothes, public hospitals, and public schools. 
kuvuga mu public goods ni zihuriwe no abaturage benshi ni gutse zihuriwe yo n'abantu benshi orogero harimo mihanda so if public goods are goods that are owned and enjoyed collectively example include public roads public hospitals and public schools so what are the characteristics of public goods they are provided by the state or government that's the first characteristic they are provided by the state there is no no, no there is no citizen who can uh, who can bring the roads or hospital public hospitals except the government yes they are provided by the state of government on behalf on behalf of citizens number two they are owned collectively Owner's consumption of public goods does not exclude others. Nikuga mwen hagu vangura, awan goods se wara enjoying, wara wa enjoying, wara be enjoying goods, zi owned by government, zi provided by government. Yes. Number three, they cannot be exhausted. Yes. Nihagu bi gira garanti go bi zara ingire shi chango shabundi. So, they, they cannot be exhausted. Trazi kore sha buri musi buri musi buri musi. They involve indirect payment. Payment for public goods is made collectively and indirectly through taxations. Yeah. That's how we pay the, those goods that are provided by the government or by the state. It's what we call public goods. There are number D, private goods. What are the private goods? If public goods is there, then even the private goods can be there so uh, private goods these are goods which are owned and enjoyed individually goods city owned by individual person one is consumption of these goods excludes others yes that's mine not other not for them so uh, those are owned and enjoyed individually. One is consumption of these goods exclude others. These goods involve direct payment. An example is buying a car for personal use. How do you need to sign it? That's mine. Yeah, the car is mine for personal use. So merit goods. These are goods which are considered to be essential to the society. Examples include education, health, and water. Merit goods ni niza goods zifiti akamaro abatora di orugero harimo education, health, and water. So, economic parts. What are the economic parts? These are goods which are harmful and dangerous to the society. Niba dufiti merit goods zikawa zifiti akamaro abatora di kiangwa se society runaka economic bads yo niza zili zili harmful zili dangerous kwa tora ke zili dangerous to the society kuvuga ngo ni ibintu byinshi biba bifitiye ingaru kambi ku batora ke the government must control their production such as goods include alcohol and drugs kuvuga ngo government ifata umwanya wo kugera ngo igende ibi control cyangwa se ibi bunga bunge kugira ngo tagera mu batora ke bi bimeze nabi such goods include alcohol, murugero alcohol, etc. drugs. Yeah. So, uh, G, producer goods. Producer goods are those goods used in the production of other goods. Kuvuga mu producer goods, niza zindi bifashe shamu produce ingibindi. Kya musa mu gukora izindi product ya goods ziri hirya no hindu kugira ngo zigira hanos. Recall what we call least examples of producer goods. So, as a student, you have to list uh, a list. You have to list an example of uh, an example of producer goods. Producer goods. You have to list them. Now, final goods. These are goods ready for consumption by the final user. Example include manufactured goods such as food stuff and clothes. Complementary goods, these are the type of goods that are used together. Final goods and question these are goods ready for consumption. Those one are what we call final goods.
zavuye mu nganda barazikora zigera ku isoko those are what we call final goods ngurugero hari manufactured goods such as nganda such as food stuff n'ibyo kurya cyangwa simyenda ya complementary goods ni za type of goods ni ubwo bwoko bw'ibi gibi nuno no bishobora gukoreshwa biri ku buryo kikimwe kitansi gikindi nibuguze kimwe nikindi nacyo ugomba kokigura kugira ngo bijyane for example uh, to get the full utility of one good the other complementary good must be used along with it that's one for instance car and petrol hago aguri modoka ngubure kugura essence no uzayitwara modoka gute so are two complementary goods so uh, substitute goods, these are goods which can be used as alternatives. So one good can be used as an alternative to the other. Examples of substitute goods include LG and Samsung, TV says, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, Cosolas. Those are examples. When the substitute goods, ni goods, imge isho wa kura, ariko hakaza indi if it is same purpose. Kuvuga mu nimusha kibishi imbo ugasha ugasanga kwisoko nta bishyimbo bihari ariko haramashyaza byose bikora sauce that's a, 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 an example an easy example for example you can go to the market and to buy some sweet potatoes but you lack them and yet you take uh, irish potatoes those are an examples ni ibintu bibiri usho bisevinga same purpose ariko kimwe gishobora ko repressinga iki that we call substitute goods so Inferior goods, these are goods whose demand falls with an increase in the consumer's level if, of income. It is the type of food that people do not consume when their income increases. Because they shift their consumption to more prestigious goods. A good example is a second hand cloth. When the income of people increases, people avoid buying second-hand clothes and shift to more expensive clothes. Those are examples. So, I want to tell you that you have a lot of money. 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 That's a chart in a correction, a correction of Gambere. No longer fat at the chin, so maybe the local income yard, young get it. That's one are inferior goods. So, luxury goods, these are types of goods whose demand and consumption increases as starting income of consumers increase. And good examples of luxury goods is the HD television sets. Yeah, these are types of goods whose demand and consumption increases as type of income of consumers increases. Yeah, no kuvuga ngo nuno luxury goods ni kuvuga ngo nizabakere n'urugero no kuvuga ngo ni types of goods aho gushaka cyangwa se desires z'umuntu ndetse na consumption ziyongera uburuko income yiyongere yeah mu ke inferior goods those demand force with an increase in the consumer's level of income yeah no kuvuga ngo inferior goods iragabanyuka uko level yange income yagenje gute yagaba ya yiyongereye kuvuga ngo nakenera ibirayi ni kuru kuru kenera ibirayi kwange cyobora kubona income yiyongereye nkareka gukenera bya bya birayi ya that's what we call inferior goods different goods these are goods whose increase in price tends to increase their demand and consumption by consumers different goods uh, are goods whose increase in price tends to increase their demand and consumption by consumers. No, if you go to the market, you can see the price of 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 are given goods. To the price of the price of the price of the are of the price of the price the law of of demand. No, if uh, in the different goods you in the it takes a demand, and we know that the the, the, the law of demand uh, when the price increases, uh, when the price increases, then the desire deduces. No, no quantity demand is a the demand is a gavanuka. No, no, gavanuka. No, no, to kaja guhaha Yeah. This happens when consumers cannot afford the alternative goods. Therefore, stick on these types of goods. For, for example, 
low quality rice is good example of given good as the price of the low quality rice is the peasant consumers as the price of low quality rice is the peasant consumers cannot afford other alternatives because all their income is depleted on the low quality rice therefore they consume more of the rice rather than buy alternatives like meat so we are going to see uh, what is economic activities and economic system in a group of five now you are going to identify economic activities and economic system discuss and make presentation on the definition of economic activities if you have uh, you have been with your neighbors if you are with uh, neighbors classmates please sit together and discuss on this topic about uh, definition and of economic activities B. Identify and discuss the major economic activities in your country. So, economic activities are the activities that involve the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services at all levels within the economy. Kuvuga ngo, ibikorwa byose byubukungu ni bibirimu production, production kwasanze yuko yiga uh, kuri converting input into output gufata ibintu bimwe ukabibyaza ibindi bintu runaka cyangwa se ukabikorera ukabikora mu bindi bintu runaka that's called production distribution twasanze yuko distribution ari ugukwira kwiza bya bindi wamaze gukora uh, wabyaje mu bindi ukabikwira kwiza mu ba household or societies so and consumption is how we use our goods and services ni nuko buryo tubikoresha mu bya bintu byageze mu batura cyangwa se twabijyanye kandi mwibuke yuko every goods have a price have economic price yeah at all levels within economy so economic activities exist in the following major production sectors of the of the economy hari sectors rero zigabanyije uh, economic activities economic activities iri mu sectors agiye atandukanye so there are primary level of production second level of production and the third one is territory level of production so what is primary level of production so primary production involves extraction of raw materials from their natural sources the major economic activities under primary production include farming mining fishing forestry and lumbering primary production kuvuga ngo ni ni nk'ubucukuzi cyangwa se biri imitungo mm, kamere gucukuza bw'imitungo kamere cyangwa se kubunga bunga imitungo kamere bishatse kuvuga ko muri production ibikorwa bikora muri primary production there are farming buhinzi ubworozi mining mining you know ibucukuza bw'amabuye agaciro fishing uburobyi forestry and the lumbering gukwita kubidukikije ari gukora mu mbaho tukubaka ibene ngibyo byose so the second secondary level of production the second level involves transforming raw materials into finished goods that can satisfy human wants second level no gufata no noza raw materials twamaze kubona tukazihinduramo finished goods finished goods what are they is the final goods bya bindi biri able yo kuba twabikoresha kugira ngo bisatisfying cyangwa se bihaze ibyo umuntu yifuza biradusanga ku isoko is what we call finished goods it comprises of all the activities in the construction processing and the manufacturing industries ukuvuga ngo ni zira nibira bikorwa byose byabaye mu kubyubaka ndetse no muri no ko unyuzwa mu nganda none bikaduhereza icyo twifuza kugera ngo bitugereho urugero ushobora kujya nko gufata kugura ibinyenda ku isoko ibyo byose babyaciye mu nganda kugira ngo bigere ku isoko ya that we what we call second level production is those process of uh, converting or transforming raw materials into finished goods so that it can satisfy human wants so number 3 territory level of production territory level of pro involves uh, provision of services so the territory level of production yo no 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 gutanga services nkurugero banking insurance tourism advertising communication even the education so 
yeah those activities are belongs in the territory level of production what is economic system what is economic system or what are the economic system so in different countries they the way so resources are owned controlled allocated and the general distribution of goods and services is different in the usa for example, resources are owned and controlled by individuals within limited government interventions. In China, resources are owned, controlled, and distributed by the government. Rwanda and Kenya have mixed economy. In other countries, both the private individuals and the government own resources and participate in resources allocation. So, now, in a group of five, explain the meaning of economic system using the above case. Even though you are alone at home, please sit as if you are sitting in a group of five and think and think again about this, these statements. Explain the meaning of economic system using the above case. So according to what we have mentioned in the case study, now give the definition of the meaning of economic system. B. Identify the major economic system that exists in the world. C. In small groups, discuss the characteristic of the economic system. Discuss it above and identify the economic system in which your country belongs. D. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the above economic system. All those are going to, to be discussed down there. So, economic system, by helping you, in economic system, refer to the general organization and the structure of an economy. No kuvuga ngo economic system ni organization cyangwa se ishusho ya 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 economy cyangwa se yuko eh yo ku economiza cyangwa se gukoresha imitungo yacu sparing ribohoro wowe. It deals with the ownership of resources, control and allocation of resources and the general distribution of goods and services. Kuvuga ngo yibanda ku mutungo mwimerere wawe cyangwa se wanje control and allocation uka control cyangwa se kawunga bunga ndetse naho ugiye kushira ndetse na uteretse and the general distribution ndetse no buryo tugenda tuyikwera kwiza goods and services dukwira kwiza hirya no hino ama goods and services ibyo byose ni ibyo biri muri economic system ni nk'umutima wa economics there are three major economic system hari uh, economic system. So the free enterprise, less effect or capitalist economy. Hari free enterprise, cyangwa se enterprise free, free, freely enterprise or free. So capitalist economy, the and the command planet social economy. Those are the synonyms: command, planet, socialist, and economy. So. Uh, see the mixed economy. What is the free enterprise? Free enterprise or capitalist economy or less affair. This is an economic system where producers engage in economic activities within a high degree of freedom. In this economy, prices are determined by the forces of demand and supply with no or limited government interventions. Mukuvuga ngo economic system yo ni gya producers bose bajya mu bikorwa bya economics no no bafite freedom ihagije without government intervention. Mukuvuga ngo government itabiha ita itabivangiye mu bikorwa byabo. Cyabikoze kubera ko government so kuvuga ko baba babahaye umwe mudendezo wawo niwo kuvuga ngo government ntiri bicontrole ahubwo no kuvuga ngo irabareka bakore bakore bari freely freedom bari bafite freedom ariko nyine bari government ibarinda ibintu byatuma bakwibazana umutekano mukeya mu gihugu so there are features of free enterprise economy there is private ownership of property and factors production there is private ownership ukuvuga ngo umutunga bari umuntu kugitike nta nta wundi wivanze and factors of production yeah there is no government intervention in the economy in the economic decision ukuvuga ngo mu bikorwa byose bagenda bakora ni myanzuro bagenda bafata ntago government ibigira mu ruhare imyanzuro bari umuntu kugitike nk'umuntu watangiye gukora so 
There is profit motivation in the production processes. Nukuga ngwale motivation ye yogubwa na profit vite nuko baba jie mubikorugwa vige vita andokanya. People engaged in the production process do so with the, the aim of getting profit out of the businesses. Nukuga ngwa ujamu na abgo ushawara kujamu mubikorugwa vija economics utagameje inyungu. That's why there is a profit motivation in production process. Number four, there is a lot of competition in the economy. Kwa raka wanu wose venchi, wabasha kakujia mubi koroga kujirango biha njiri mirimo, haba hamo competition nyinchi chane. There is a freedom of choice and enterprise in the economy. There is a freedom as we have seen in the definition. There is a presence of social classes in the economy. The market forces of demand and supply determine prices. Yes. So, what are the advantages of free enterprise economy? In a free enterprise economy, there is a competition. This improves efficiency in the production of goods. This, in turn, leads to production of better quality of product, products. Kwa kwa wano competition in nyinchi, kubite unuko ba nubenchi wa zanimi nubisa, bitikyo bituma hawa competition, bigatuma karite ya product, yiyo ngeira. So free enterprise economy promotes consumer sovereignty. Haba harimo udahangar wabugawa kiria vitewe na competition. So there is increased output since producers produce and supply more goods and services in order to earn more profit. There is uh, efficient farms in free enterprise economy increase the level of employment because of increased investment. Vitewe ni shoramari yabaye nyinch vituma haba ho efficient farms Farms, the business, egakora neza. Six, there is optimum allocation of resources. Yes, uh, resources are allocated where they are highly demanded. As a result, inefficient farms are driven out of the industry. It reduces the burden of government participation in the resources allocations. So, uh, according to those advantages also, th there are disadvantages of free enterprise economy. It creates income inequalities in society. We tell you competition. We mention our hari, our invention, how we increase the profit. Ingana we gain a bit in Nigeria. So this is because the few who own means of production will become richer as the majority becomes poorer. Abandi we mean we we gain the wakora, we kaba abakire, abandi we kaba abakene. Number two, free enterprise economy tends to encourage capital intensive technology. No, no, Abanuenchi, Muri free enterprise, Usanga, Vakoresha, a capital intensive technology, Ugasanga, Varigukoresha, Avanu, Kuruta, Imashin. So, it leads to the creation of monopoly as a result of inefficient farms being driven out of production due competition. It leads to misallocation of resources. It may encourage production of less luxurious products that are demanded by the rich. Vugango, by to mahaba ho aba kuzani product ninchi zifite ama faranga menchi ibichiro ginchi vidhe juruga sanga aba kirari vo variko genza gute variko bigura aba kene ba gahezwa. Production in free enterprise economy is profit motivated. Which leads to exploitation of consumers in the form of high prices. We tell you, we can profit. We tell you, we can make a hundred euros. No, our consumers will be born to get a hundred euros. Can we say we can make a hundred euros? We tell you, due to absence of government intervention, there is a high degree of the application of goods and services. Our investment agenda will cooperate. Our land will be chosen. We will go for the number B. Command planet economy. This is an economic system where resources are owned, allocated, and distributed by central planning authority on behalf of citizens. Ahangano no niya economics ikorwa na central government. Changwa se government. Obu yobozi gigigu akaribgo wejamuri economics. The government on behalf of citizens takes all economic decisions. Imyanzuru yose ikabifatkwa nareta. Hari features, changwa se characteristics of planet economy. Iyamere nuko there is public ownership of productive resources such as land. Iyamere nuko taka usanga uyu gorgwa ndetse ukabunga bungwa akabaru gareta nyirizin. So number two, a central planning authority carries out all decisions on production allocation, resources, allocation, and the distribution. Kukukangu distribution, ndetenu uriyo, bashirahu business, ibijo ose, 
ni bya leta there is no freedom of individual kwera ko abari bya leta rero nta freedom y'umuntu umwe ku gitike kuko leta ari bariyo iri kubikora the major economic activities in the economy aim at offering services to citizens ibyo byose rero babikorera abaturage niyo mpamvu leta ibikorera nubundi abaturage kuko bo bashaka kugira ngo babibyenjoying nk'urugero roads land n'ibindi byinshi bigiye bitandukanye urugero public goods so advantages of planned economy it is easy to implement government policies as the government is in direct control of production it reduces income inequalities it can lead efficiency in productions it promotes uh, social welfare it promotes economic stability Consumers are protected from exploitations. Disadvantages of planned economic now. Planned economy is characterized by production of poor quality product. So there is lack of motivation and in individual initiative. This leads to limited innovation in the production process. So central planning under planned economy results into bureaucracy. Yeah. Uh, there is lack of consumer sovereignty in a planned economy. Habahari ntago ubudahangarwa bw'abakiriya wabo hari government ntago ihenda henda ya ntago ifata umukiriya nk'umwami ahubwo byose iyo amategeko yasohotse umuguri muturage wese bagomba kuyakurikiza so but there is a right of consumer to determine the process of resources allocation does not exist in the planned economy freedom of choice is also limited tamahitamo yumukiriya abafite kuko byose biri kontrolwa na government it increases administrative cost on the part of the government government agencies will be actively actively involved in the resources allocation and distribution of all which increases cost the, to the government number 6 this system tends to be characterized by minimal management of resources this is because corruption and nepotism are always rampant number c uh, the last economic system is a mixed economic system it cover or two above economic system that we have maintained this is an economic system in which both the state and the private sector own resources and participate in resources allocation free enterprise and the end and a planned economic system those ones are all all motivated at the allocation so features of fixed economy all above the features and even advantages of all those two above economic system are also engaged in this mixed economics thank you very much for watching this mm, these courses and learning thank you you have to read this summary alone and uh, remember to share subscribe and like and if you have questions ab above the units so please comment to us so that we may answer your questions collectively so thank you very much remember to subscribe